Hello, lovely people. I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. In today's Amigurumi tutorial, we will crochet this little panda. I had promised you a longer or an extra long tutorial for this week since you missed out on a tutorial on Sunday because now I publish my videos on Friday because that's what the majority of you voted for and it makes perfect sense because this way you have all weekend to crochet the Amigurumi project and so to make up for the missed tutorial on Sunday I thought I'd make something a little bigger than usual and I thought that's the perfect opportunity for this little panda to come to life because um, I received several requests for a panda um, in the past and it's really time. So I hope you like him and I hope you'll enjoy this project. But before we get started, as promised, we're going to celebrate because our community has grown to 20k subscribers. Thank you so, so much everyone. I can't thank you enough. I'm so so happy to have this lovely community of like-minded people who enjoy Omigurumi just as much as I do. Thank you so so much for being here and for for crocheting along with me and for commenting and liking my videos for sharing them with your friends. I so, so appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. I'd love to celebrate with you and thank you for your support. And so there is a link to a six pound coupon to my Etsy shop um, in the description box below. This covers the price of any of my paid patterns that you can find in there. And the first 10 of you lovely people who click the link will be able to redeem this code so that you receive a free pattern from my shop. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so, so much again. And now let's get started with this little panda. For this project we need DK or light worsted yarn and I use Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK as usual. If you'd like to use the same you can find the link in the description box below. And I used Champagne White and Black but this time I'm swapping the black for pink because black is impossible to see especially on a camera, it's gonna, I, I bet it's already gonna be dif difficult for you to see your stitches. So please always have a light on when you crochet. Don't, don't hurt your eyes with the black yarn um, or just preferably do it in daylight hours. Um, yeah, that's just my recommendation. Um, and I'm just, I thought I exchanged it just for something cute. Not necessarily the realistic, but cute. And this is very easy to see. So then we also need some fiber fill, quite a bit this time for our chubby little panda. And we need a 2.5 millimeter hook. So this is something in between a size B1 or C2 in American sizing. And a C2 will be fine unless you tend to crochet quite loosely, in which case I recommend going for a B1. The UK size equivalent to that is a 13, but um, most of you will be fine with a size 12 if you're used to crocheting amigurumi. Then we also need some safety eyes unless you want to embroider the eyes. And I'm using five millimeter safety eyes, but of course you can use any size you like. Then we need black embroidery floss for the nose. I'm using my DIY one again. Um, 
that I just made out of split DK yarn. And we also need a yarn needle for, for sewing on the ears and then the head and the little tail. And either a pointy yarn needle or a large eyed sewing needle like this one for the embroidery part. And what I'll also be using for the embroidery part are these pliers. They're small flat pliers, but this is optional. This is just to pull out the needle sometimes when it gets stuck. So don't worry if you don't have it. And then we need a stitch marker and scissors, of course. So we start with the legs, which we will crochet in black. I'll be using pink this time. And we begin with a magic ring. So just make a magic ring in your with your, using your preferred method. And then in round one, we single crochet six in the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we close the magic ring. Usually I don't close it very tightly in the beginning because that makes it easier to crochet in the first stitch of round two in which we will increase in all six stitches. So two single crochet in each. That's one and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and 10, 11, and 12. So that's round two done. Now in round three, we crochet in the back loops only. And we start with three single crochets. So one goes here in this back loop of the first stitch. One, then one in the next back loop. Two, and in the next back loop. Three. So these three front loops are exposed now and then we make a mini bubble stitch in the next front loop. So what I mean by mini bubble stitch is we yarn over then we go through the next back loop, pick up the yarn, pull it out so now we have three loops on our hook. Then we pick up the yarn and pull it through through the first two loops. One, two. So now we have two loops on our hook. Now we yarn over again, go through the same back loop, pick up the yarn and pull it through. Now we have four loops on our hook and we pick up the yarn and pull it through the first two again. So now we have three loops on our hook and once more we yarn over, go through the same back loop, 
pick up the yarn, pull it through. Now we have five, sti five loops on our hook and we pick up the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. So now we have four loops on our hook. We pick up the yarn and now we pull it through all four loops. And that's our mini bobble done. And I call this mini bobble because usually I believe the bobble stitch has five repetitions of these double crochet or treble crochet in British terms that are um, crochet together in the end. So this is just a mini bobble. And now in the next back loop we make a slip stitch. So this it's easiest to just use your hook to get hooked in between the front and back loop of the next stitch now and then turn your hook 180 degrees and this way you get under the next back loop. My yarn split there so I need to be more careful to go exactly in between the front and back loop and then turn my hook 180 degrees and there we go. Now we're in the next back loop and here we just make a slip stitch. And we repeat this two more times. So now in the next back loop we make a mini bobble again. So yarn over, go through the back loop, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the back loop, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick it up, pull it through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the back loop, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick it up and pull it through the first two loops. So that we have four loops and then we pick up the yarn and pull it through all four loops. Now in the next back loop we have a slip stitch again, so we get our hook in between front and back loop again, turn it and slip stitch. So once more in the next back loop, yarn over, go through, pick up the yarn, pick it up, put it through the first two loops. Yarn over, go through, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick it up and pull it through the first two loops. Yarn over, go through, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick it up again to pull it through the first two loops without splitting the yarn preferably. There we go and then pick it up and pull it through all four loops. Now a slip stitch in the next back loop again. And that's the three mini bubbles done. So now we have three single crochet remaining. Also in the back loops. One, two, and three. And that's the round done. I'm gonna place my stitch marker here. So now in the next four rounds, for the four legs, we single crochet in all 12 stitches that we now have. Let's do the first round together and then I just let you go ahead with the remaining rounds. So, one, two, three. So these are all stitches. This is the bubble stitch. And this is the slip stitch and we just crochet in all of them. Five, six, 
six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. So let's round four done. And now we have three more rounds of this. For the four legs, for the back loops, we only have two more rounds of 12 single crochet left, but I'll explain that later. First, you can finish your two four legs or Let's say this one first. So you can pause the video here and hit play once you're done with the next three rounds of 12 single crochet. That's my four rounds of 12 single crochet done. So round seven is complete and for the four legs I can fasten off here. We don't need a particularly long yarn end here. And just pull that through. And now you can repeat all of these steps to make the second four leg. So I'm going to put the minute that we started with the legs here and you can also find the clickable um, timestamp in the description box below. And then once you have two four legs, then you can repeat the whole process again, but only up to round six. So we only have three rounds of 12 single crochet up to here. So we don't do the last round. The last round is different for the hind legs and I'll show you in which way now. So now I completed the hind leg. Well, at least up to round six, there's one more round to go. So we made these three rounds of 12 single crochet and in round seven, we're going to increase a little bit. So. We increase in the first stitch, so two single crochet in here, and then we single crochet in the next three. One, two, and three, and we repeat this twice more. One increase. and three single crochet. One, two, three, and once more, one increase. And three single crochet. So that's the round complete and that also completes our hind leg. So now we have a round of 15. Here we can fasten off. Again, we don't need a, a long tail end. And now we repeat all the steps to crochet the second hind leg. Now we continue with the belly. And for the belly, we need our white yarn. 
and we start with three chains. So we make a little loop. In chain three, one, two, three. Then we single crochet one in the second chain from our hook. And then three in the next chain. One, two, while I'm pushing in the last chain here, I turn my work. So now I'm on the other side. I hope that's not too blown out to see. So three single crochet we made in the last chain and now in the other side of the first chain that we crocheted in we make two single crochet in there one and two so that we have a little oval shape of six single crochet in the round and here we already start crocheting on the legs and we begin with one of the hind legs so where the beginning of our round is now that's where the back is and then we'll attach the hind legs here one on each side and then this here is where the front is going to be and that's where we'll attach the four legs just just so you have an idea of how our little panda is constructed so we start with the first hind leg and now this this side is going to be the inside of the leg and that's where we want to join it in order for um, in order for the paws to point forward so I'm just trying to find kind of the center like the middle of the the inside and then we'll see how that looks if it looks good I'll continue this way if not I'll just go move for the back further back um, this part is always a little bit trial and error so we just single crochet one in each of the 15 stitches of the hind leg all around one two three wherever you have the last stitch of the round when you crochet it will probably loosen up a bit so you can pull it tight after crocheting in it four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Oops. Now we single crochet in the next stitch of the belly.
and this way we can already see in which way the paws are now pointing because this is the this is the back this is the front and this is now how the leg is pointing so it's pointing slightly outward if it looks the same for you you can keep going I mean with the hind legs I always think it's kind of cute if they point slightly outward but um, I think I'm doing it again and this way I can also show you how to make them point more forward in case that's what you want to do too so I don't start further further toward the back I start joining the leg further toward the front that should help so I started here and now I'm going one stitch forward or maybe even two Let's try one stitch forward. That should help already. So I'm joining the leg now. Kind of still at the center of the inside leg, but a little closer to the front. So 15 single crochet all around. Let's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So now we single crochet one in the next stitch of the round again. And now it looks better to me. Now it's still pointing slightly outward, but just slightly. So that's that's the way I'd like it to be. So now I'm just going to pull my loop out a little bit so I don't lose my stitch. And in the next single crochet, we'll change to black or pink in my case. So for that, I prepare a little loop in black to have it ready for the color change so now we crochet in the next stitch of the round and change to black so we pick up the white yarn pull it through and hold it there and then we pull the black loop on our hook and pull it through the two white loops. So now we have a black loop ready to crochet. And that's going to make for a neat color change. So the last stitch is completely white this way. And now not only do we continue in black, we also crochet around the white yarn. This way we have the white yarn to hand when we need it to change back to white. And if you've crocheted many of my amigurumis, you'll already know. In case you didn't, I show you 
how I hold the yarn. Um, if you have your own way, that's up, of course perfectly fine. Just in case you're wondering how <laughs> how the heck to do this, I just show you how I do it, and this this works for me. So I hold the yarn this way, that I separate the two colors with the joint of my index finger. So the color that I'm crocheting currently goes on top and the color that I'm um, working into my stitches is below. And then I just hold both working ends with my other fingers just to hold the tension. So this, this seems to be working for me. Um, now, <laughs> to make it more complicated, we attach the foreleg now. And so it's going to be attached this way. So this means that this is the inside of the leg. And I'm going to start joining it. Just trying to find roughly the center of the inside leg and then I'm going one stitch backward closer to the back and I think this should work. So that's where I'm starting to join. So inside of the leg a little bit closer to what the back. And now I show you how to crochet around the white yarn. The first stitch is the most tricky. After that, it gets easier. So we pick up the black yarn and pull it through underneath the white. And then when we pick up the black yarn again, we go over the white to do that. And pull it through our two loops and this way our white yarn is worked into the stitch. So again um, we single crochet all around the foreleg in all 12 stitches. So grab the black yarn and pull it through underneath the white through the stitch and then we go over the white to pick up the black yarn and pull it through our two loops. This was the last stitch of the round for the leg, so I need to pull this tight. And again, pick up the black yarn, pull it through underneath the white, and then go over the white to pick it up again and pull it through. Once in a while you can give the white yarn a little tuck. Um, don't pull too tightly, so you don't want to change the shape of the amigurumi, but um, this is just to prevent the white yarn from peeking out in between the black stitches. So this way we go all around. This is four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we single crochet in the next stitch of the round here. Still in black, crocheting around the white. Now we can have a look if the paw is pointing in the right direction. And that seems to be looking good because we want the four legs to be pointing forward and the hind legs if you prefer forward, but I like them pointing slightly outward this way. So now we can already attach the second foreleg. 
And now, obviously, the inside of the leg is the opposite, is on the opposite side. And again, I'm trying to find the center of the inside of the leg. And then I go one stitch more toward the back. And that's where I, where I start joining. And I hope that this works out. With this, honestly, it's always a bit trial and error for me. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> so now uh, we will single crochet in 11 stitches of the foreleg and in the 12th stitch we change back to white. So for now we keep going around the white yarn. Here's the last stitch of the round for the leg again. So I'm going to pull that tight. That was also the 11th stitch, at least for me, for you, the placement of the last stitch may be different. So don't worry about it being the same. Uh, don't forget to sometimes pull the white yarn a little bit. So now in the last stitch, of the second foreleg we chain back to white and so we go through the stitch pick up the black yarn pull it through and then we pick up the white yarn and pull it through the two black loops so now our loop is white now we can continue in white and we switch colors because now we will crochet in white around the black yarn so next we single crochet in the next stitch of the round here around the black yarn this time. So we grab the white yarn and pull it through underneath the black. And then we go over the black to pick it up again and pull it through the two loops. Now we can just have a quick check to make sure that the legs are pointing in the right direction. Obviously we want the four legs to be pointing in the same direction and that seems to be looking good, thankfully. <laughs> Don't worry if it doesn't. Um, if it doesn't, you just need to adjust where you start joining them. So. If they point more outward, then you want to start more, um, you want to move the first stitch more toward the front. If they are pointing inward too much, you want to move the first stitch you join them with uh, more toward the back, if that makes sense. So now, we single crochet one more in the, this round of six here. And then we can join the last leg. And here again, the other side is the inside of the leg now, of course. And so the hind leg we joined at the center of the inside but slightly more forward so I'm gonna start here and see how that goes so now we single crochet
crochet in all 15 stitches. Around the black yarn. Nine, ten, eleven. If I'm going too fast, you can always slow the video down. Um, I'm not sure where it's on mobile. Um, it might be if you if you click on the three dots in the corner on um, uh, on the web version of YouTube. It's um. In the bottom of the screen, there should be um, an icon that lets you slow down the video, just in case this is going too fast for you. If it's going too slowly, you can always check the description box where I post the uh, where I share the timestamps the different body parts so you can skip ahead if you've already finished this part so this is the last stitch of the leg and then we have one stitch to go in our little round of six here so we single crochet one in there There we go. Now we can check. I'm just putting the loop out a little bit so I don't lose my stitch. Just want to make sure that all the legs are looking okay. And I think they do. I can leave it this way. So I think this was the most difficult round of the whole project. So if you've done this, congratulations. At least in my opinion, this, this is always the most tricky part. So now we can continue making some decreases. Now our round has 60 stitches and we'll reduce it to 52 in the next round but first I'm just going to hide all of these yarn ends because they can be quite distracting so I'm just gonna use them as stuffing for the legs And we'll stuff the legs more than this a little bit later. If you want to be more thorough, then you may want to weave the yarn end in, but honestly, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going the lazy route. <laughs> yeah, I'm even gonna hide this one, it will be fine. So now we have these little gaps here in between the legs and belly, and the one gap in the middle of the belly. If you want, you can close them. Honestly, I'm not going to bother because the panda is going to be so chubby that we won't really be able to see the belly, I think. So I'm not going to bother. Also, it's white and the fiber fill is white. So it probably won't be too noticeable. But if you want to, you can close these gaps with a few stitches. 
you can use this yarn and or just cut cut a new one and then use the rest as filling later the, the yarn ends so that's completely up to you now I placed my stitch marker in the last stitch so the next round starts with a decrease So we're going to make an invisible decrease with the first two stitches. Um, I just turned off the lamp because it's not too gloomy at the moment and I think the white stitches are easier to see this way for you. So we go through the front loop of the next stitch here and then we pull our loop down to go through the front loop of the next stitch. So now we have two front loops on our hook. And then we pick up the white yarn from underneath the black, pull it through underneath the black, pull it through the two front loops. So now we have two loops on our hook and now we go over the black yarn to pick up the white and pull it through these two loops. And that's our invisible decrease done. Now we single crochet in the next 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So now we have another decrease. And so we go through the front loop of the next stitch. And the front loop of the next and pick up the white yarn from underneath the black pull it through the front loops go over the black pick up the white and pull it through the two loops now we will decrease again and this time we will change change it to black at the same time so we go through the front loop of the next stitch, which should be white. The front loop of the next, which should be black. Then we pick up the white yarn, pull it through the front loops. And now we pick up the black yarn and pull it through the two white loops. So now black goes on top and we continue in black. And now we single crochet in the next nine stitches working around the white yarn two three let's see if it, this part is better with light on Four, five, Ooh. that's one of the yarn instead I was hiding. <laughs> Mm 
where were we? That was the decrease. And that was the decrease. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. So now we'll decrease again. So we go through the next two front loops to crochet them together. Then we single crochet one in the next stitch. And we decrease again. And then we single crochet in the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we decrease and at the same time change back to white. So we go through the front loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the next stitch. Pick up the black yarn, pull it through and then we pick up the white and pull it through. I'm trying without light again because the white Tends to blow out a bit with this lamp on. So now we should have another decrease, but let me double check. Yes. Another invisible decrease. And then we single crochet in the next 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then we decrease once more. If you found this round difficult, I can promise you this was the second most difficult round. <laughs> but it can only get easier from here on. <laughs> and then we single crochet one in the last stitch. Without splitting the yarn. <laughs> and that's the round complete. So now our round has 
52 stitches in the next round we single crochet in the next 13 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen in the next single crochet we change to black so we pick up the white yarn pull it through and then pick up the black pull it through switch so that black goes on top and the light light doesn't plug in <laughs> Then we single crochet in the next 22 stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. Now in the next single crochet we change back to white. So we pick up black, pull it through, pick up white and pull it through. White goes on top. And then we single crochet in the remaining 15 stitches in white.
So that was round four. In the next round, we start with 14 single crochet in white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And in the next single crochet, we change to black so. Start in white, then pick up black, and black goes on top. So this time we have 21 single crochet in black before we switch back to white. I think the light is okay. And since we just have regular single crochet and some color changes and Nothing tricky, I just keep the light turned off for now. It's four, five, It's ten, that was fifteen, that's sixteen. I think that's 21. That happens when I try counting to myself. It was only 20, so one more to make it to 21. Oh, sorry about that. So there should be one black stitch remaining. That's when you should have 21. And now in this next stitch, we change to white. So white goes on top and now we just single crochet in the remaining 15 stitches of the round in white. So oh, that's round five done. In round six, we start with 15 single crochet in a white. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Then we change to black in the next stitch. Black goes on top. And we single crochet in the next 20 stitches in black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sometimes remember the, to pull the, the other color that we're working into our stitches. I tend to forget as you might have noticed. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, And in the next stitch, we change it to white. And then we single crochet in the remaining 15 stitches in white. Back here in a little tuck. So that's round six done, and round seven is exactly the same thing. Starting with 15 single crochet in white. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, then we change to black, then we have twenty single crochet in black, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. In the next single crochet we change it to white and again we finish the round with 15 single crochet in white And that's round seven done. In round eight, we slowly start decreasing. So we start with 11 single crochet. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we make an invisible decrease. So crushing the next two front loops together. Next, we single crochet two and in the next one, we chain it to black and now we single crochet in the next eight stitches One, two, mm, I think the light is okay, I hope so, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here's sometimes the the other color that we work in pops out if we <laughs> forget to pull the yarn a little once in a while. That's what happened here. Now we have another decrease. Now we single crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, and we change to white in the next single crochet. Then we decrease. And then we single crochet 11, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Ten, eleven, and decrease again. And that's round. Where were we? Round eight done. So round nine starts with a six single crochet. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and decrease. And six single crochet again. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. So then we decrease again, and one stitch should be white and the other one black. And while we're decreasing, we're changing to black. So we pick up the white yarn and pull it through the two front loops, and then we pick up black and pull it through the two white loops and black goes on top and then we single crochet six one two three four five and six decrease And we repeat this again, six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six. And decrease. Then we single crochet two, one and two, and change to white in the next single crochet. Then we single crochet three, one. Two, three, decrease, and we single crochet six, one, two, three, four, five, six. and decrease so that's round nine done so now our round has 42 stitches it's actually a good time to Fill the legs with a little bit of fiber fill. 
So I just form some small balls of fiber fill and push them inside the legs. Don't overfill them though because we want the bottom side of the paws to be nice and flat. right front leg could use a little more not too much though also I'm gonna hide this yarn in, and this is too much because I don't want to feel body yet because that would just bother me when crocheting we'll do that later once our round has become smaller it's also too much Go. that's enough for now and round 10 starts with five single crochet one two three four five and decrease and again five single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and decrease. Then we change to black in the next single crochet. And we single crochet four, one, two, three, four, and decrease. Then we single crochet five, one, two, three, four, five, and decrease. Next, we single crochet two, and then we change to white in the next single crochet and single crochet two in white and decrease then we single crochet five one two three, 
four, five, and we decrease. And that's the round done. So now our round has 36 stitches. And in round 11, we keep decreasing. This time we start with four single crochet. Oops. One, two, three, four, decrease. One, two, three, four, decrease, then we single crochet in the next changing to black. And then we single crochet three, one, two, three, and decrease. Then we single crochet four, one, two. Three, four, and decrease. Then we single crochet two, one, two. In the next single crochet, we change to white. And then we single crochet one and decrease. And single crochet four, one, two, three, four, and decrease. That's round 11 done, so now our round has 30 stitches. And round 12 starts with three single crochet. One, two, three, decrease. And we repeat this again. One, two, three, and decrease. Then we single crochet one and change it to black in the next single crochet. Then we single crochet one in black and decrease. Then we single crochet three, one, two, three. And decrease and next where was I where was I next we single crochet two and 
then change to white in the next single crochet. So white goes on top and then we decrease and three single crochet one two oops there we go and one last decrease of the round And that's round 12 done. So now you can start filling the body with fiber fill. I leave it at that for now and I'll add more after the next round. In round 13 we begin with two single crochet, one and two, and then we decrease. Oops. We repeat this once more, two single crochet, one two and decrease Oops. detangling my yarn real quick <laughs> change it to black in the next single crochet and then we decrease single crochet two and decrease then we single crochet one and change to white in the next single crochet So that we can make the decrease in white and we should have one black front loop and one white front loop decrease those and once more two single crochet one two and another decrease So now our round has 18 stitches. I'm just pulling my loop out a little because now I want to add more fiber fill. And I really want to fill the body generously so that all these little bumps <laughs> Go away and so that our little panda looks nice and plump and chubby.
and just try to distribute the stuffing evenly. There's still a little bit space. Okay, I think that's good. After the next round, we can still add a little more. So I'll leave it at that for now. So In round 14, we start with one single crochet, and then we decrease. Trying. <laughs> Sorry, trying not to work the fiber fill in our into our stitches. And we repeat this once more, one single crochet. And one decrease. Then single crochet one and change color as we decrease and with the decrease we should again have one white and one black loop and we change to black as we decrease. Then we single crochet one, decrease, and we single crochet one, change to white as we decrease. Again, we should have one. Now we should have one black and one white loop on our hook to decrease and change to white at the same time. And finally just one single crochet and final decrease. So that's round 14 done and now is our last chance to add a little bit more fiber fail. At this point we need to squish it into little balls and then I'm using the back of my hook to get it in just to even out the back because otherwise it's filled nicely and that should be enough in round 15 we decre decrease six times and the first two decreases are simply in white one and two in the next decrease we change to black so now we pick up black pull it through and 
And then we have one decrease in black. And in the next decrease, we change it to white. Squish everything together if you need to to get in the front loops at this point. So here we change to white and then the last decrease is going to be in white. There we go. And that's it. So here we can fasten off. We don't need very long tail ends here. And we just pull the white yarn through. And now we need our yarn needle. And I'm starting with the white yarn end. I just insert this in the front loops of all white stitches. That's three on this side. And then one on the other side. So I just skip these pink or black stitches. I just go through uh, to the other side to go through the fourth white front loop. Um, I'm just leaving this for now. I didn't pull it tight just yet. Maybe that's a good time to turn the light back on. Then I'm threading the black yarn end. And with that one I go through the black front loops. It's only two of them. Now I'm pulling it tight and go through the center of this last round and I just stitch somewhere. Maybe here so that I can hide this little white bit there that's popping out there. So now I just pull the yarn tight and now I weave the yarn end in and at the same time I'm using it to hide little white spots like this one. And then here in hindsight I'm thinking I wish the stitch was pink. I already changed the pattern so many times that I thought in the end oh, did I just leave it like that now. But a little things that you're unhappy with can always be changed this way like in the end just cover them I think I leave it like that Weave this in. And cut it short once that's done. And now we move or we return to the white yarn end. And now we pull that one tight. And again, go through the center stitch through somewhere where you want to weave in the yarn and pull it nice and tight so that the back becomes nice and even, nice and flat. And now we can weave in this yarn and, and even you can still use it to close these gaps if they are bothering you.
I didn't bother to close them before, but now since I need to weave this yarn in, I'm just using it to close them now. So one stitch for each gap should be enough. I'm just going through here. Close this gap and moving on. To the next right away. And then I just, I'll just do a few stitches here. And probably that's enough. <laughs> and that's the body of our little panda done. <laughs> Of course, it still needs a little tail. We'll do that next time together with the head and the ears. I hope you're enjoying this project so far. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up for me. That would be lovely. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I publish part two tomorrow. And also every week when I publish new Amigurumi tutorials. Thank you so much for being here and for crocheting along with me. Can't wait to finish this project with you. If you're watching this at a later time, you'll be able to find it there, somewhere on the left. See you in my next video. Bye!